Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Ure Station, an adventure visual novel influenced by ghost stories from Japan. I left home this morning, long before dawn, before anyone might hear me. I had to be careful not to wake my parents. They wouldn't understand. Who knows where this empty train is heading? All I can do is watch the landscape as it unfolds before me. Am I dreaming? Ghost Station. The train's vibrations relax me. I try to clear my head. But, suddenly, my heart tightens. I feel a presence. It's getting closer. Invisible. Its breath heavy against my neck. I don't dare move. I've got a new message. Let's see, let's check the messages. Huh, nice home screen. Oh great, 444. Which is... It's basically the equivalent of like 666 for Asians. What's this say? The message says, I see you. I look around in a panic. There's still no one. Repeating words, train, 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 444, train, train, train. At first I thought it was some kind of bad joke. The station is closed this time of night. But in the days that followed, it haunted me. I lost sleep. What if... Early this morning, I snuck into the empty station. A train was waiting for me. My heart broke when I read those words. Help me. He wrote them. I know it. There's a lot of text messages. The first message I got, a few weeks ago. I thought it was a technical problem. Then learned the news. So this is kind of like a semi-time frame. It's kind of interesting how that's, uh, how I access my menu. I wish I could go back. Before I started receiving these messages. Before this horrible day. I feel like this train will never stop. That the night will never end. What a horrible night to have a curse. I've been trapped in darkness for months. Maybe it's something like a darkness called depression. Someone like close to them passed away. Let's see what this is. I perfectly understand this. I can only read a few words. I'm waiting for you. Which ones? No, that doesn't make sense. I must be wrong. So this is a puzzle. What what tools do I have at my disposal to solve this? Let's see. I, I think this is it. So... Fruit peel, triangle, hut, and the Tory gate. Where's the triangle at? Tree. That's it. The lines are crossed over one of the stations. Strange. It's the only one of no name. Push the button. I can't help but hesitate before leaving. There's no telling what might be waiting for me outside. City of the Dead?
Some of the lanterns are glowing faintly through the dust. Remember when we used to hang out at these small village festivals? The crowds in the old streets. The distant laughter. Memories come flooding to me, but I have to hold them back. No matter how hard I try, I can't read the name on the sign. Looking closely at the peeling paint, it hits me that this village must have been deserted a long time ago. Let's go in deeper. This is relatively well kept for them. Pan village. A shadowy shape rushes past me, whipping up warm air. I think of hand accidentally grazing mine, or if a blurry face glimpsed through a window. I shiver. The windows are like dead eyes, pointing directly at me. The shape has slipped into the shadows between houses. I don't dare follow it. Text message. Like an eye. This message is indecipherable, but there's something ominous about it. A massive wooden door is blocking the path. Some kind of puzzle. I press my ear against the door and close my eyes. The rustling of leaves is like a soft voice inviting me to come in. There should be a clue in the text messages if we look again. That doesn't seem helpful. Four, four... No. Hmm. Any different about the noises? Let's just kind of work with what we got then. Connect these. That one. Then do it like this. It's a letter. A message. Like the text messages. Back when I was a little kid, I'd often play hide and seek in the dark cedar forests. Ever since then, I've been imagining shadowy figures lurking behind every tree trunk. I cannot see them, but I know they're watching. I stop midway, about to burst into tears. Their eyes are weighing on the back of my neck. I can hear them whispering between the trees. They know nothing about me. Who gave them the right to judge? Standing in front of the Tori, I remember his words. Those are doors to another world. I wonder what it's like over there. Do you think it's any better? Depends on your perspective, I suppose. How your world currently is. Suddenly I'm afraid. I only find emptiness in the end. Oh yeah. There really was the village of the dead. I climb the steps and make my way through the tunnel of Tori. I'm on the other side now. I breathe a sigh of relief. Willow wisps float here and there, like faded memories. A vast cemetery stretches out before me, dotted with sharp rocks and craggy trees. I look up at the big empty sky. Its pure color fills my senses. My footsteps grow more confident, my fear becoming weaker. 
I feel like I'm getting closer. Hi, buddy. I see. Again, those eyes staring at me. How I long to slip out of their reach and escape them forever. A huge waxy face watches me with a strange smile. I'm afraid it might try to swallow me up if I get any closer. These faces always weird me out. They're never, they're never comfortable. You got mail. It's from the underworld. Accept charges? No. The same glitch sentence repeating itself. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. <coughs> what? <coughs> Re? Ah. Uh. O. Ka. Ryoga? Ri. Ah. Ka. O. You could have killed a puzzle. Here. Ga. Ah. O? I don't see Ri. No, there it is, Ri. Ga a ri o. Ga a ri o. Ga a ri. Nope. Oof. I wonder if we've passed away or something. And it's someone like a relative or someone calling us in. Like, welcome. The path disappears into the edge of an empty landscape. Of course, it was too good to be true. I no longer have the strength to return home. I've lost all hope. In this place. You know, you could just put in one text message. Since always. I wait. The whispering stop. The eyes turn away. We're alone again. Together. I hold my breath. My heart is racing. I want to speak, but can't. His hands are cold, his eyes are so harsh. But it doesn't matter. I'm happy. This is the most beautiful day of my life. The end. So that's the end. Uh, the writing kind of reminds me of a Lafcadio Hearn uh, book. We were a lot of Japanese ghost stories and whatnot. It was um, ironically not Japanese. Uh, it was a person who just really liked the culture and kind of collected stories. He came across from various villages that we traveled all around and made a compilation. Very famous writer. But very similar to that. I'm f feeling that's what they're trying to go for. Uh, like most kind of game jam, quick made games, like, I think this was made in two days. The It's obviously too short. So you have like a nice kind of concept and atmosphere and it's kind of too short to fully take advantage of it. But what was there was very nice. Like I like the art. Uh, I like the use of music and the kind of 
the way the writing and everything kind of synergize together. It's just a shame, like I said, it's, it's so short. Um, I would love to see another story like this, but longer. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play and read this uh, ghost story. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.